Uh, Brian, just started off by asking you about your training camp so far. Uh, how's it been going and how excited are you about this test coming up here? No, good. It's great. It's all, uh, I think, it's been very positive for the camp. Um, it's kind of been a ball all along and it's, it adds to going away to travel. It adds to the, the build up on all three. So I'm glad that way it's not a, it's not a final home or nothing like that. You know, I think it gives me a bit of the edge having the travel and stuff. It makes it feel more, more real. And uh, about your opponent, Jimmy, um, do you know much about him? Have you still seen much? Uh, no, I have a DVD here now. I watched it once a week. But, uh, you know, through different spawn parts, not there. Like, you know, it's uh, but the same head as me, you know, good boxer, kind of all around this. All around this so, like, you know, we just have to be good. We had a friend and we that's what we wanted on this morning. Like, you know, because you never know what happens out here, and that's one of the things. And, and back conditions and stuff too. Like, so, the main thing was getting back in shape, getting ready, getting the mind. On the job. Uh, looking at his record, I think he's got eight knockout wins and about 21 fights. Wouldn't really suggest that he's a, he's a big puncher, like you know, so it could be a long haul fight kind of thing. Yes, yeah, as I said, you know, you know what the conditions are like or what he's like. You know, I know he's fought like heavyweight, he's fought down at another weight, and you know, more or less weight division, so you know, probably make me come close to another weight, but uh, we'll see, we'll see on the night. But all I knew was to get my best shape for the for the fight, you know. Last time out, uh, it was probably your biggest test so far against Brett, uh, one of the top fighters in the world, yeah. and you did great, great, great count to yourself. Uh, did that give you great confidence now in this fight that you're, you're well able to compete on the world circuit? Oh, okay. definitely, well, that, 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 yeah. especially after Simply Tate's last fight there, where he knocked him in the fourth round. Yeah. You know, he, he, looked, he looked fantastic, so he did, and I think he's probably better shape than he's fighting me, it was the first time show time. So it does definitely does give me a lot of confidence. I've worked hard, I've, I've a few entries before. After the last fight that I had just got seen too, I'm thinking about 10 minutes, so I've started from scratch and I feel nice and fresh and ready to go again. Like, so it's good, it's been good, I'm in good shape. As you said there, you're on the, the travelling the whole kind of thing, it builds it up for you, it gives you the edge. So, next question was like that uh, travelling out there, it won't really affect you then, no? No, you know, maybe just the heat and the time difference, yeah. but there's really enough fingers crossed it should be fine, you know, it's an indoor arena, so. You know, it should be like fighting anywhere else once you're in the ring. But, uh, you know, it's all in kind of things make a difference, it's preparation and everything. But if, I've done all my fitness work and my, my hard graft here. Uh, I've had plenty of, plenty of sparring, plenty of, plenty of ring, uh, training twice a day. So, you know, I'm, I'm great neck and I'm ready, I'm ready for it. And having the trainer, Bernardo, who's, I think, from that part from Panama, world, yeah. does that give you kind of like a bit of a help to his with experience? Oh, with well, without that, especially going to Panama too, you know, it's like having our own personal guide. So there's you know yeah. there, it's having a room interpreter and everything, you know, he's fluent and so it's it's camp and exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, we're going to Panama first for the finish off the camp, and then we're down in Costa Rica for the five days before the fight over like so there'll still be a bit of hard work to do out in Panama. So there will um but others are organized the gym and spawn and stuff like that there. So you know it's not I'm not there yet, it's still too hard works to go like. They kind of say though, when you're going to fight at a place like that, do you mind that? You're either better off going in there or going out early. This is their bad. You told that, yeah? Yeah, well, we're already, this is kind of rainy season, so you know these fight hard at the minute. So it is, so yeah, going to be, you know, one way or the other, like it doesn't, it just depends. I mean, the, uh, the main thing is it's not an indoor fight, it would really, would really affect it. Um, I don't know what it'd be like, really, so it's, as a matter of just been as good a shape as you can get in the air for I would prefer it, yeah. So I've done all my fitness training out there, what goes on out there. Just I've no control off, yeah, no control yeah. off, so I'm not going to worry about it, you know, what happens, happens, but as long as I know I'm ready to give it all a can in the ring, that's the main thing. And after your last title fight, um, it's another title fight, How, do you feel a bit lucky to get a title fight straight after a title oh, fight? Oh, without a doubt, without a doubt, I mean, I knew, I knew anyway going against Boutte when we took the fight, that, that was against the best in the division yeah. at the time, so I knew there'd be no, you know, if I put a good show up or whatever, I beat him, but it was, you know, it was all the win, everything to, everything to gain. So it wasn't show now, I'm um, still in the top 10 in the world. But I was number one in the WBA anyway, yeah. and I started on fight, fell through, and it, you know, he still hasn't fought yet, so he hasn't, so I could have still hanging around if I hadn't took the beauty fight. So I'm back in a position to deserve to be in, and anyway, beforehand, you know, uh, hopefully it's like getting back in the number one spot again. So and if, if it was a thing you were to win this title and bring it back, you'd have plenty of. Uh, Boys lining up in the UK to take you on the likes of the Gale and Groves who uh, are well, they're they're always, their name. Oh, they're always my friend, but I mean, they had to have to do something. Groves had to go over to Gale, but the Gale has done nothing to, to date. Like, um, so it's not a fight you'd be looking at you? Not to have them in chest. Like, I mean, people might fall all the time, so I, I usually just hear about it, so yeah. you know, so I've no interest at all. I've never heard anything, you know, all the talk from the Gale and all, and never had one kind of approach, so I think it's just that they, empty noise, you know, because never once I had one proper offer or anything, you know, yeah. so well, I mean, anything any can happen to money's sake. So that's what I'm saying, if you have a title, it ch changes everything. Oh, without a doubt, but hopefully I have a title. 
we're going for a bigger fish now. Like that's the difference. Really, we're so looking forward. Maybe that chase. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and I mean at 35 now. Um, what way do you see your career? Do you do you take it one step at a time? Do you have plans? Do you have goals to fulfil before you retire? Oh, definitely. Like well, the word titles, definitely is what I want on the car side. I'm so glad about that. That's what you're for, you know. But like just the gale and that's something I got there. Like when I st- I give up a British title and I just promised to shot that back again. Nobody yeah. ran to give me the shot back. We all ran fighting somebody else. Yeah. yeah. It ends one zero at the line, so you know. Um, what comes around goes around, you know. Yeah. And finally, just to finish off uh, for the Irish viewers, is there any word on whether you can see it online or if there's any TV? I'd say definitely online, I'll be on. Yeah. I'm sure it'll be on uh, South American TV, American TV, and stuff like that. There. It's just a time, I think it'll probably be 5 o'clock in the morning over here. Yeah. But if not, I'm sure we'll bring it back and we'll put it out on probably the next, well, I don't know, BBC TV or the core or TV. It's a contest on the I'm sure. I'm sure there's something in the pipeline that happens to be part of that, but I'll definitely get you on that, I'm sure. Well, this is the best look of the whole time. Thanks for the best.